Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Rebounding in Yoga Day 24. Today, we'll be getting into just still a pretty easygoing practice, suitable for beginners. You can always find variations as you need to. So let's get started. So like last time, remember, always check your equipment. Make sure the legs on your rebounder haven't come loose. So let's get started. Easy bouncing to start. Start with some easy bouncing. Maybe shake it out. Shake out tension. Shake out stress. Let it go. Why double bounces? Basic bouncing.
single Y bounces. Diagonal. Double ski bounces. Single ski bounces.
Knee lifts. Basic bouncing, slowing it down, shake it out, widen your feet, bend your knees, take an inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, bend the knees, inhale, reach up. Thoughtfully make your way down onto your rebounder mat. Ah, oh, cat cows. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Move with your breath. And then tuck your toes, reach your hips up, downward dog. Lengthen through your spine as you reach your hips up and back. Make sure you feel stable here. Maybe shift your weight a little side to side. You might bend one knee and then the other, whatever feels good. Lower your knees down. Extend your right leg out. Little movements forward and back. Get into that inner thigh and hip. Inhale your right arm up, twist to your right. Exhale, lower that hand down. Inhale, twist the other way. Exhale, lower that knee out. Other side, left leg extends, forward and back. Get a little stretch in the upper back and shoulders too. And then right hand stays down, inhale, twist to your left. Exhale, lower that arm down, inhale, twist to your right. Lower that hand down. We bend that knee. Widen your knees. You can have your feet off the rebounder if you need to. Child's pose. You might rest your head on the mat or just keep your neck neutral. You can widen your feet. Start to get into the hips. Get into a nice stretch in your hips. Inhale, come up, bring your knees closer towards each other, onto your belly, sphinx. You can just stay on your forearms, this can feel real nice. Engage through the legs and feet, you can point or flex the feet, keep your legs active, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, release, push back up through table, and then tuck your toes, hips up, downward dog once more. Lengthen through your spine.
and then walk your feet wide on your rebounder sort of like a wide down dog or a wide leg forward fold hands at the edge of the rebounder take your hips back stretch through the spine keep your legs strong And then bend your right knee. Move your left hand where it feels stable and twist to your right. Similar to what we were doing on our one knee. And then lower that right hand down. Bend your left knee. Get a stretch into that right inner thigh. Move your right hand where it feels stable and supportive. And then thoughtfully inhale your left arm up, twist to your left. Slowly lower that hand down. Come back into that wide leg forward fold, straightening both legs as you take your hips back, holding on with your hands. Find your variation. This is also a very calming pose for the nervous system. Forward folds. Slowly come back up. Position yourself back down onto your rebounder. Straighten your right leg out. Bend your left knee. You might have the foot over the edge. Right hand near your right leg or foot. Reach your other arm up and come into a side bend. Inhale, coming back up. Turning towards that straight leg for a head beyond the knee pose. Face that straight leg coming forward with a long spine. Option to reach your opposite hand to the toes. You can have your other hand on the lower leg or beside it, lengthening through your spine. And then release. Option to come deeper if that feels appropriate to you. Slowly make your way back up, pause, and then switch sides. Make sure your bent knee feels okay. Coming into that side bend. Side bending over that straight leg. Support yourself with the bottom hand. Inhale, slowly come back up. Turning to face that straight leg, bring that bent knee where it feels comfortable. The foot can be near the opposite knee or the hips. Head beyond the knee pose, Janushirsasana. Hinging from your hips, again, hands where they make sense to you. Just an option for the opposite hand to come onto the foot. Lengthen through your spine, maybe hinging from the hips to go deeper, or you can just stay more upright. Left hand where it makes sense to you, maybe on that left knee. So you can sit up a little bit more here. And then release, maybe just staying upright more or folding a little deeper if that makes sense to you. Make sure you're not rounding the back. Keep your spine lengthened. Slowly come back up. Straighten your legs out. And we'll come into a seated twist. Bend your right knee. Maybe cross the foot over your straight left leg. Right hand can be behind you. Left hand to the outside of that right leg. Keep your left leg active, toes to the sky. 
Lengthen through your spine as you inhale and exhale, twist to your right. So holding on for support, but without trying to force yourself to go deeper into the twist. Breathe here. Inhale, unwind. Straighten that bent knee. And we'll do the other side. Bend your left knee. Cross your left foot over the right leg. Right leg is active, toes to the sky. Left hand goes behind you for support. Right hand to the outside of that left knee. Sit up nice and tall. Exhale, twist to your left. Breathe here. Inhale, unwind. Straighten that left leg out. And then we'll come into Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose. Typically, Baddha Konasana has the feet closer to the hips, but to stretch out the spine a little more and to get a stretch into the outer hips, we can move the feet further away from the hips. It's also a little easier to hinge forward. Hands where they make sense to you. Keep your spine lengthened. And notice where you feel the stretch. Should be more in the outer hips, maybe a little bit into the back. Just make sure it doesn't feel uncomfortable. To just feel like you're getting a nice stretch. A few breaths here. Slowly come back up, bring your knees together, straighten your legs out. If you would like, you can hinge forward, coming into seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana, again with a long spine. You can have your hands on either side of you, or you might have your hands on your legs. Inhale, think of lengthening through your spine. Exhale, just relaxing into the shape without forcing. Slowly bring yourself back up. If you'd like, you can just relax into a Shavasana. Maybe bringing your feet onto the floor. And just laying down on your rebounder or your regular mat and relax. Oh. It's always important to take time for relaxation. Shavasana is so important. And feel free to stay here as long as you have time for.
And then when you're ready, you can bend one knee and then the other, drawing your knees in towards your chest, giving yourself a hug, stretching out your low back. And when you're ready, make your way over to one side and then eventually back up to a seat. Well, thank you so much for joining me today for this Rebounding and Yoga, Day 24. I appreciate all of you. Please hit the like button. And if you've not already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And remember, always listen to your body and your breath. Find variations as you need to. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you, everyone.